I'm Evie Wild. I'm the author of The Bass Rock. The Bass Rock is a book about violence that women experience at the hands of men and gaslighting. I'm also the author of three other books, two novels and a graphic novel. The Bass Rock is set in North Berwick and it follows three different women. Sarah is a young woman in the 1700s and she's stumbled into um, a village where there's a bit of a famine going on, they're all quite superstitious and she gets accused of being a witch and then escapes with a, with a father and son um, and it's about her kind of escaping through the woods, moving towards North Berwick. And then in the 1950s as Ruth, who is broadly based on my grandmother, um, and she's moved into a large house and she's got these inherited two children from her husband. And, um, and she's not quite um, pulling it together in the way that a 1950s housewife is supposed to. Um, and she is gradually understanding that there's something in the house, um, maybe her husband, maybe something else, that isn't as it should be. And then there's a very thinly veiled version of my own life. There is in a more or less present day Viv, who hasn't got any of the things to show for her life that we associate with success. She hasn't got a career or a partner or any children and she's just scrambling around a bit. Um, she's a bit stuck and she is archiving the many bad artworks in her grandmother Ruth's house um, after Ruth's death. I don't get inspiration, I don't get a shock of um, a bolt of lightning or anything and then want to write a book. I think the Bass Rock came out of sort of living my life in a female body and thinking constantly about the things that women think about. I don't think there's anything in the book that every woman hasn't imagined happening at some point in her life. But the setting, uh, North Berwick and the Bass Rock is somewhere that I came a lot as a child and that my father came to when he was a child. So it's got a lot of nostalgia for me here. I think all of my books have been leading up to the Bass Rock. When my father and then my grandmother died in quite quick succession, I inherited um, the family photo albums. And in there I found these pictures of my father as a young kid in front of the Bass Rock, freezing to death. And, um, and I have the same photographs of myself there. Um, so it, it had this nice sort of telescoping feel that um, there was a lot of family history there. And I think the Bass Rock itself is such an interesting landmark. It's such an odd shape and it's got such a rich history of, you know, it's been a prison, um, a hermit's lived there. It just feels like it's got this incredibly literary feeling to it. So it's, it's, sort, of a, it's sort of a shape that's stuck in my head um, for a long time. There's nostalgia there, I think. So last time I was in North Berwick, it was for a recce for the book and I was eight months pregnant, so it was quite a different feeling there. It was November, um, and it's beautifully sunny today and not windy and freezing, so it, it might have been a different book had I come <laughs> in August. One of the most surprising things to come out of um, the Me Too movement is that there's a lot of power in women telling their stories, and I think if there is um, I hope there is something hopeful in the book, although it's got a high body count um, and there's a lot of violence in it. I think the hope is that when women speak to each other and tell their stories, there's a lot of power in that. I never really write hoping to have a particular influence on a reader. I write in a purely selfish way about the things that are bothering me or interesting me at the time. But I suppose if there was some flicker of recognition, um, if it felt like uh, someone had felt those same fears or those same anxieties, that would be nice. Something about the Bass Rock was so misshapen, she often found herself drifting if she stared at it for too long, unable to look away, like the captivation she felt sometimes looking at her own face in the mirror. 
as if to look closely would be to understand it.